Welcome to Highway 89, Utah's most scenic musical byway. I'm Peggy Woodruff, and with me in the studio today are the Forward Four, an ensemble of graduate and undergraduate musicians from the University of Utah in Salt Lake City. The Forward Four have been invited to perform at Clarinet Fest 2013 in Assisi, Italy. That is a very big deal. They've also performed at the International Clarinet Association's Conference in Nebraska, won third prize at the Utah Chamber Music Competition, and have been coached by clarinetists Kathy Pope and Alan Kay. One of the reasons that we so enjoy having the Forward Four on Highway 89 is the repertoire that they play. They often bring pieces from Latin American composers and new music and new orchestral transcriptions to perform too. For example, this hour they'll play a new piece that they commissioned for their group by Igor Yakimchuk. We'll also hear memorable pieces like Tico Tico and Contrabanda. The Forward Four are Nick Morandi, Milagro McGee, Samuel Noyce, Jairo Velasquez, and husband and wife Henry Cáceres and Katy Marin. Let's hear a sample of what they can do, shall we? This is a piece called Bordel 1900. It was originally a part of a work called The History of Tango by Astor Piazzolla. It was adapted for clarinets by Bruce Edwards. Thank you. 
We heard Bordel 1900 performed live by the Forward Four. I'm Peggy Woodruff, and you're listening to Highway 89. The music director of the Forward Four is doctoral student Henry Cáceres, and he's also the principal clarinetist of the University of Utah Philharmonia Orchestra and the assistant principal clarinetist of the Symphony Orchestra of Concepcion, Chile, on leave of absence, of course, while he pursues his degree. Welcome, Henry, and all of you to Highway 89. Thank you so much for having us here. It's a pleasure to have you. I understand we're going to hear a brand new piece of music. Yes. You had it commissioned by Igor Yakimchuk. I'm struggling with that pronunciation. <laughs> Where is he from? He's from Romania, I mean, Moldova, uh-huh. close to Romania. I see. Yeah. And it's only been performed a handful of times, maybe less than that. Would you tell me about how that came about? Okay, yeah. Um, well, we have performed this. This is the third uh, time that we perform it. And we commissioned it because we are going to Italy, as you said at the beginning. And we play uh, music for all of the country I and mean, in the world. And we were needing a new music from the uh, East Europe, ah. and Igor is my friend, and I asked him to write a piece. He said, okay, no problem, how much time do I have? And I said, two months. <laughs> so he did it, and he did a very good job. Is he a student as well at the No, he's a graduate. He's a PhD a composer, uh, very well known uh, with his compositions, and now he's teaching at the University of Utah as well. So you like to play compositions from all over the world? Yes, we don't want to stuck in one one country, so we want to have a, be- a big range of music. That last one was so fun. Yeah. And did you ever get a chance to breathe during it? <laughs> uh, yeah, sometime. <laughs> I should say. Henry, it is a privilege to hear new works. Let's go to it. Okay. The Forward Four will perform... Calabreaza by Igor Yakimchuk. Then we'll hear a second piece. If you're old enough to remember the TV series Alfred Hitchcock Presents, this should provide some nostalgia. It's Funeral March of a Marionette by Charles Gounod. It was transcribed by Harry Villa Villanueva. First, Calabreaza. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was Funeral March of a Marionette. And before that, 
Calabreaza performed for the first time on radio, I do believe, live on Highway 89. I'm Peggy Woodruff. And we'll visit now with Kati Marin. Kati, it's so good to have you here. Thank you for having us. You have expanded. It's called the Forward Four, and there are six of you here. How did that happen? Actually, a lot of people ask the same question. <laughs> How come we are Forward Four and we are actually six? So everything started when we used to be four, and then Henry wanted to write an arrangement of the piece that we are going to listen to later, Klesmer Dances, and which is originally for strings and solo clarinet. So to make this happen, he needed two more instruments to kind of complete the orchestration of the piece. And so we started with that piece, and then... Nick, the bass clarinet player, decided to write uh, another piece for the group and then he made an arrangement of the other piece that we are going to play later on. And so that is how everything started. So now, but you're going to stay with the name, the Forward Four. Yes. <laughs> yes, we really like it. It's kind of powerful, Forward Four. It does sound good. <laughs> and now you're off to Italy to perform. Kati, have you ever been there before? No, i never been there. And... We are all very excited. This is such an honor to be a part of Clarinet Fest. Will it all be business or will there be time for sightseeing? Well, we are going to be very busy the first week. And after that, we will have a few days off and then we will take some time to, to do some sightseeing around. Good. Don't leave Italy without seeing Oh, the no, country. we won't. <laughs> <laughs> Your audiences are going to be a great many of your peers clarinetists does that make it easier or does that increase the pressure I think it is very stressful when you think about it like that because most of our, well a hundred percent of our audience is people who know know about clarinet playing about music so it is very stressful when you think about it like in that way but at the same time it is such a great opportunity to show and share with colleagues this uh, music and new arrangements and it is definitely an opportunity to grow as a group and individually as well and so once you get to clarinet fest it's not strictly a competition it's more of a festival of performances yes Am I right? it is a festival it is the most important gathering for clarinet players in the world and it is not a competition, the festival itself, but to be able to perform in the perform a recital in the professional category that we are in now, we had to audition among hundreds of groups. So it was a very large competition in the Yes, in we, the we had to audition, we had to send a CD and then after a few months we we got the, the answer and then Wonderful. We, yeah, we had to earn our position there. Best of luck in Italy. While she returns to her place, I'll tell you that the first piece we're going to hear next, Tico Tico, is a very famous Brazilian song about a sparrow that gets into the cornmeal. It was composed by Zequinha de Abreu and tra transcribed here for clarinets. The second piece will be Trio Bacanal by Zephyr Brezianu, a clarinetist himself. It's a very modern take on box invention number 13. Thank you. 
We heard Trio Bacchanal, and before that, Tico Tico performed on Highway 89. I'm Peggy Woodruff, and our musicians today are clarinetists from the Ensemble Forward Four. They are Nick Morandi, Milagra McGee, Samuel Noyce, Jairo Velasquez, and husband and wife Henry Caceres and Katy Marin. I hope you're enjoying today's program. Remember that it is a live program, so there isn't any safety net here. No retakes, no edits. We've made Highway 89 so that it is as close to inviting the musicians into your living room or piling them into the back of your car as we can get it. This is what we call in the moment music making. Next, we'll hear two more pieces. First, Contrabanda, a song originally written for the rock and roll band Devochka, but arranged for clarinet ensemble by Nick Morandi, who is part of For uh, Forward Four. Then Chardash, a traditional Hungarian dance tune. In fact, it's the national dance tune of that country. The name comes from the old Hungarian word for tavern. It is described as a courting dance for couples, starting out slowly, picking up speed. But first, contrabanda. And then we'll and first we'll give the musicians a chance to tune up a bit.
We've been listening to Chardash, and before that, Contrabanda performed live on Highway 89 by the Forward Four. I'm Peggy Woodruff. Samuel Noyes is new to this group. How recently, Samuel, did you join up? Uh, well, I've been playing uh, with these guys since, since about November now. So. And before that, you were out of the country for two years. That's Wanna right. Tell yeah. me about that. That's right. About a, about a year ago, I, I just returned from my mission to France and I started back up studies at the University of Utah. Was it difficult to pick up your instrument again and play at such a high level? Um, well, at this this level, it's uh, it's, al it's always a, a challenge for sure. But I was amazed at how quickly it came back to me after that time, actually. Wonderful. I am just loving this music. It's me too. It's fabulous. Yeah. Who chooses the repertoire for Forward Four? Oh, I believe uh, mostly Nick, uh, mostly um, mostly Henry, Henry and Katy uh, choose it together, and then and then uh, Nick, you know, he composes some pieces for us, so he helps out too. Well, I think it's really fabulous timing <laughs> that you've gotten into this group in time to go to Italy for Clarinet Fest. Absolutely. Do you it's... feel lucky? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it's a it's a huge honor for me and. Uh, just uh, and I'm on top of the world. And the entire group. That yeah. is so wonderful. Well, the Forward Four has two more pieces for us. First, Easy Winners by Scott Joplin, that king of rag. And then second, Kletzmer Dances, adapted by Henry Caceres from Goran Frost's Kletzmer Dances for Clarinet and Strings. Kletzmer is a combination of Hebrew words that mean vessels of song or otherwise just musical instruments, and the musical tradition of this piece originated with Eastern European Jews. Here they are. <laughs> Thank you. 
Live on Classical 89 and BYU Radio, we heard Kletzmer Dances, and before that, Scott Joplin's Easy Winners. I am Peggy Woodruff, and that concludes another episode of Highway 89. Our musicians today have been the Forward Four, and this is one of their final stops before they head off to Assisi, Italy, 
to perform at Claren Clarinet Fest 2013. The forward four are Nick Morandi, Milagro McGee, Samuel Noyce, Jairo Velasquez, Cati Marin, and also the music director and founder of the ensemble, Henry Cáceres. Thank you, Henry, for bringing the group. Best of luck in Italy. Thank you for having us and giving us the opportunity to show everything to everybody here in the Utah State. It has been tons of fun for me, let me tell you. Thank you. And after tonight, I'm newly in love with clarinets. Oh, that's a good job. <laughs> Highway 89 takes you to any number of musical destinations, every one of them musical and memorable. We always welcome your comments and questions about this show. To contact us, simply send an email to highway89 at byu.edu. Highway 89 is a production of BYU Broadcasting. The recording engineer is Mark Waite. The show's producer is Jackie Tataishi. I'm Peggy Woodruff. Thanks for listening. <laughs>